So in the previous video, you saw me insert all this contrived data and make a big mess of my database. Um, now I'm going to show you delete, and delete's real simple. Uh, all I have to say is, uh, well, let's leave that up there. Delete from region. Now if I just say delete from region and I hit a 5, that'll delete everything in my table. So that's very dangerous. In fact, usually what I'll do when I'm writing a delete is I'll, I'll misspell it intentionally so that I know if I hit a 5 accidentally, I'm not going to screw something up. Okay, delete from region where... Let's see, it looks like I started screwing it up from 5 to 60. So so I'm going to say where region ID, and this this where works just like we've seen in select statements. You can do whatever you want here, subqueries, all that fun stuff. Uh, where region ID is greater than or equal to 5s. Okay, so one thing I'll do... Um, just to make sure I'm going to delete the right data, just to double check myself, is before I say delete and then hit a 5 on this, I'm going to say select splat from region where region ID is greater than or equal to 5. And then I'll hit a 5 here and notice the results. The results are exactly what I'm expecting. So then I can verify that the results I have are indeed the ones I want to delete. So instead what I'll do is say delete and run the run the well, I don't want to say query, but run the command. Eight rows affected, deleted eight rows. Good. Highlight this portion, and now we're back to not having uh, the contrived data I made in the last video. So that's really roughly it for all delete is, is, is delete with some condition, and then it removes those rows. Just be careful when using it, because if you don't have the proper thing uh, set in your where clause, then you can delete data that you don't want to. Ideally, you generate backups or have backups before you go and start frying data with the, with the delete.